All right, learning a game engine, okay? It's pretty tough, really. Sometimes it can be really rough. The number one thing you should always do is play the game before you even try to learn how to edit the game or the engine itself. In this case, Unity has an easy play button that allows you to walk around in its default scene and you can get an understanding of how, you know, how the navigation works within game, okay? Too many times have I tore apart a game like, you know, like Doom or Unreal or, um, oh shoot, Elder Scrolls or Oblivion and find out that, well, you know, I should have just played it. I would have had a better understanding of what objects look like and blend those objects together the correct way. I can kind of see how textures look inside the game. Okay, are they high res? Are they low res? Do I see any bump maps? Bump maps are uh, something that allows the object to look bumpy, even though it's not bumpy. So it allows me to see detail without there de being detail there. So in this case, you know, for this default scene, I'm not seeing a whole lot of normal mapping technology here. This looks just to be all textures. Um, I know the game is actually capable of bump mapping though, so because it said it right there on the, the page, what is Unity and what does it do? And it, do, it does have real-time normal mapping. So, all right, so enough of walking around in game. Another thing is when you're looking at a game engine is where's the editor at, okay? In this case, Unity is its own editor, so I don't have to do this with you, okay? This is already taken care of. But if you were looking at, systematically looking at learning a game engine, those two are very important. Play it, learn where the editor is and how to get into it. Three, navigation. Always navigation. Okay, navigation starts in Unity by usually uh, some of the top buttons always on game engines. This one's going to be Alt, okay? So it much mimics what Maya does. So Alt left mouse button actually rotates around the world. Um, Alt middle mouse click allows me to do this to pan. And if I use the middle mouse button as the other clicker or just the rotator, I will take that and I'll be able to zoom in. Okay, that's the mouse wheel. All right. Another thing that's nice about Unity is it's got this little widget. So I can go into top, right, left, right. And usually I do not like these little things, but this time it really makes sense to use this. I do not want to use a four pane window half the time. I really like just toggling around and using it right here. Okay. Let's see. If I look around here, uh, you know, usually under window, I'll find layouts and then you'll be able to see, oh, like a four split. So if you want to see a four split and how that works, where I've got this one as my perspective, this one as my top, this one as my side, and this one as my front, it works just like that. Okay. And just to get in common reference with things, let's say I say this Heron, yeah, Heron prefab. And most cases, an engine has the ability to zoom naturally on something. In Unity's case, F is the shortcut key for that. And that'll bring this bird into focus on both top, left, right, and front. Okay. All right, now that we have navigation done and we've learned a few rules about breaking down a game engine, let's like kind of look at it a little deeper on what we can do about maybe importing an asset into the game.